Hi, my name is Venus Sohara and welcome to another video. I've just watched a video about cervical smears and I was really inspired to make this video. No one enjoys a pap smear, but they are totally essential and I absolutely hate them. So I wanted to share with you my top five tips for a more comfortable cervical smear experience. Of course, no one likes, um, no one enjoys having a cervical smear, but they're really um, essential. And anyway, my top five tips for you. Well, I'm a sex toy tester, and you might think that it might be easy for me because I'm always using toys, but that's not the case at all. I'm actually, I get incredibly, incredibly nervous when I go to a gynecologist because when I was, um, when I was a child, I had um, some issues with my kidneys. And I remember when I was very young, like maybe three years old or something like this, I had um, to go to the hospital quite frequently um, to give urine samples, etc. And one day um, I had um, a tube put into my urethra and it was the worst experience ever. It was, it was so traumatic. I had two nurses opening my legs and just putting this, this um, tube inside and I was like, ah! So from that moment, even though it's not the same hole, just being in a medical situation with my legs open is incredibly traumatic for me. So I, I automatically remember that and I just, I get really tense. Um, so anyway, here are my top five tips. Um, and well, I have um, private health care um, here in Spain and when I go to the gynecologist, I have um, a vaginal um, ultrasound as well. And so that for me, I have that before the actual smear test. So that kind of makes it a little bit easier. So the vaginal ultrasound sound is literally like a kind of a big dildo that looks inside, that sees inside your, your vagina, your ovaries and, and et cetera, just to see everything's okay. And um, so if I do that first and then have the actual smear test, it seems to be easier, but that's not part of the tips anyway. So my tip number one has got to be to tell the gynecologist that you're feeling nervous or you're extra nervous about it. Um, obviously everyone's a little bit nervous in that situation, but, but I think it's always a good idea to actually tell the um, gynecologist that you're nervous. They might be a little bit more careful with you or, or especially when um, just to try and distract you at that moment because they've seen it all before, you know, that the nerves, especially not just um, your lady parts, but I think it's really a good idea just to explain that you're nervous. And I always, always do that. And which brings me to my next point. I've, I was, um, I have a wonderful, wonderful gynecologist and I told her years ago how nervous I was. And I told her about my experience as a child with the um, kidney infection thing. And um, she told me, would you like the virgin speculum? <laughs> so, so basically instead of using the normal speculum to open my vagina, she gets a really small one. So, so it's actually tiny, it's really tiny. I don't know how, how big it is, but it's way smaller than the standard one. So I would really um, encourage anyone, if they can, to ask your gynecologist um, if they have a smaller speculum, because it makes it a little bit easier in that situation. So I always ask for the smaller one, and that's what I get, and that's just great. But also, when you get to that point of the actual scraping, it's still, ah, mega cringe, ah! So for that moment, I have this. This is an incredible thing for stress. I've, I've used this for, for blood tests, um, operations, anything that's a little bit, you know, just, just really stressful, or even getting my teeth clean, getting fillings. This is what I always bring with me, and the doctors, dentists, or just they think it's a, a pint of Guinness or something I'm about to drink, but I'm not like this. Ah! So this is a really good idea just to have that, um, something like this, so you can squeeze it. But of course, you can also do deep breathing. It's really good. Um, breathing is an excellent way to relax in a stressful situation. And um, point number four, well, for me, I think it's really important for me um, um, is, is to practice safe sex. Of course, you can have a gynecological issue that's not, not even related to sex, of course, but for me, when I go to the doctor, I don't want it to be, I don't, if there's something wrong with me, I don't want it to be something that I could have prevented myself through my lifestyle or something, lifestyle choices. So for me, it's really important to, to practice safe sex all the time. 
I remember years ago when I was silly and I wasn't as healthy as now and I used to smoke um, tobacco. I used to smoke maybe one packet every 10 days. So we're not talking a big, um, there's not a lot of tobacco, but I felt so guilty every time I was going to the doctors. I thought, you know, I'm usually healthy in every other aspect of my life. And I just thought if there's something wrong with me one day and I've done it to myself, I mean, wow, that's just so stupid smoking. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's a bit of a sidetrack there. But yeah, I think it's good to just to look after yourself when you're not, just to try and prevent any anything you can. And um, and my final point is, um, which is quite related to, it's just related to that, is to go regularly. I know um, in the UK, I think it were, when I was living there years ago, it was every three years, which doesn't seem often enough to me. And here in Spain, it's usually every year. Yeah, so I think it's really important to go regularly. And obviously, the more regular it is, the less scary it is. And the sooner um, you can, they can find anything, if there's any anything um, that needs to be looked at. Anyway, I hope this video helps you. And if you have to get a pap smear, um, book your appointment today and don't worry about it. Hope you've enjoyed this video and see you next time.